what are your thoughts on, on like the fact that we're in the world of social media, as you said, 2019 was the official start of it, and TikTok is the most popular website, you know, slash social media channel ever. But it's a, it's a great example, I think, because uh, as usual, it's always interesting and nice to, to look at what people were saying at the time. You know, TikTok is born and, and people are just, you know, people, the so-called experts, media experts say, well, you know, this is just crazy, you know, who, who is going to use this kind of technology? We, we already have Facebook, you know, so who is going to just upload a 15, 20 seconds video? We have Facebook already, we have all the different kinds of social media, plus it's all the kids. Can't you see? It's all, it's all a big game. Nobody will use it. And then obviously, you know, big disruption. And now TikTok is the number one application in the world. Okay. And it, it's not so strange, actually, because we have to, uh, technologically speaking, it's, it's an easy kind of technology. It's, it's, there's nothing new in TikTok. It's just uploading videos. We had video uploading before. We had, you could do it in YouTube, you could, you could do it in Facebook too, okay? But the di there are different recipes, but TikTok was uh, actually understanding, you know, the fact that it's, it's all an exercise in optimizing the user experience. Try to uh, take a newcomer, give, it, give him or her the TikTok application. It, it starts for itself. So it, it just starts. And even if you don't know anything, you just start to see videos. 10, 15 seconds, you go to the next. Even, even, even if you don't touch the screen, it goes on. This is just a simple example. There's much more. But if, if you, do, you don't need a manual, you don't need anything. Try, take, take somebody else. Give him Facebook. Well, you have to understand Facebook. What's going on? The feed. You have a various directions that you can take in navigation. It's, it's a different world of complexity. So TikTok was, you know, destroying the world of complexity. That's what people couldn't understand at the time. You, you, you can measure this too, but intuitively, we were destroying the world of complexity. It's so easy to use TikTok, and people appreciate it. That's why now you, you have this mass adoption of uh, TikTok. It's the easiest way to get information and also to put information there. And now that, we, that they have critical mass, they, they can do more. You know, you can also have followers that give you money and so on. But the, the crucial point was the very beginning where they, they understood that you had to break the barrier of, you know, of making people struggle to learn. You know, with the moment you don't need any manual, you know, that's the key to success. Is it a victim of its own success in that now we see governments all over the world being very negative towards TikTok. Maybe, maybe there is reason, but maybe there isn't. It's just that people don't like to see a company that successful. Well, it's a, it's a good question. I, frankly, I don't think it's a problem of the, the huge success of TikTok, rather than it's so-called, even though it's not so good to, to mention it, political, you know, uh, belonging. You know, if if it were like. A, yeah, yet again, another U.S. or Italian, whatever company, nobody would care. But it's a Chinese company, you know, Chinese backed up. So uh, politics makes a difference because don't forget that we're talking about data too. So for for some part, there, there's some bias, and because you know you you never know what's going to happen. To 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 some extent, but there's also some reasonable concern because it, it's all information, it's privacy of the people, it's data, it's you know personal images and. We, we are still in that, you know, uh, nebulous time where we, we haven't really a clear and definite situation where, where the data is going, what, what the people are doing with the data. And so it's, it's, it's the number one most successful application in the world. All of the data that TikTok have, it's normal that people start to have some concern and say, well, are we really sure this data is not going, you know, into something bad, you know? So it's some bias, but there's also some reasonable concern about it.